Now I'm gonna turn this into a nine by nine table just so we can do a few different formatting things. So instead of having two cells across per row, we want three cells. So I'm gonna copy a cell here, copy, and if I enter a third cell in the first row, now we've got three going across. Now our width was 600, so we have to change each of these to 200 for an even space across. And I'm also going to highlight one of these guys. I'm going to hit copy. And I'm going to go down here. I'm going to hit paste. So now we've got two rows. Here's the first row. Here's the second row. In the first row, we've got one, two, three across. And in the second row, one, two, three across. Again, we have to change these to 200. Why am I changing these to 200? There's three across, but the whole width across for the whole table, keep in mind this is the whole table, is 600. So if we divide that evenly by three, we get 200. Now let's just change these numbers. I've got one, two, let's make this three. Call this one four. Call this one five. And we'll call this one six. Now let me copy one of these whole rows. And let's add a third row. So I go down here, make a little space, right click, hit paste, and here we have four, five, six, so down here we make seven, eight, nine. Now I'm gonna go up and we check 200, 200, 200. So here's our three rows. It's a three by three. We've got row one starting here, row two starting here, row three starting here. Each row has three cells across, so there's going to be three columns in our table. And we hit save, and we go here, and we can hit refresh, and now we've got our three by three table. Now, if we want the table to have a blue border, we can do in the table, let's just do, let's keep the things relating the borders together. We can add another attribute called border color equals. Now, we could write blue in here, but keeping in mind the color coding video, which you just watched, which is red, red, green, green, blue, blue. Let's do pound. The first two are red, so we want zero red. And then the second two are green, zero green. And the third two are blue, so let's make it totally blue FF. So if we go to file, hit save. We go to our other page and hit refresh. Now you see a blue border on each of these cells. So the table border is the whole table, this outer edge. You see how there's an outer line? Well, that's the table border. Now each of these cells has their own little border around. And the reason that each cell has a border blue is because when we selected the border color for the table, it's going to apply to each cell. Now if we go into each cell and make it a different color border. Um, like let's go to the center cell. It's five. Let's take the border color of it. You see it's blue. And let's go to cell five and add the attribute. And let's make this, we'll make it green. So if we make the middle two FF, we'll have a green border for the, just the center cell only. So we'll save that. We'll go here, we'll hit refresh. Now you see we've got a green border here. Now I'm gonna fatten up this border just so you can see it a little better on the whole table. So go back to my hand coding. Table border, let's pick nine. And now this would look really fat on a web page, but as you're seeing it on the video, it'll just make it stand out more for you. So save my file. And I go up and I can hit refresh. Now we've got a fat border around the edge. So you see the table border was the one that goes all the way around. Now these little borders are the ones that apply to the cells. So what else can we do? Well, let's enter some text in one of these cells. And let's go to cell 9 and say this is cell number 9. Let's type something in here 
to see what it looks like just to have a good example I'll type this last sentence okay so we're gonna go up and save file save let's go to our page and see what that looks like and we want to hit refresh and you'll see all this text went into cell number nine now what can we do we can set the alignment for cell nine where here it says align center we can align that as being left aligned and if we save this we go up here and we hit refresh and it aligns it that way we could also right align it but let's introduce something called cell padding here so I'm gonna put the cell padding in the table as an attribute now it has to go in the table tag as an attribute that's just the way this uh, attribute works and this is called cell padding and I'm gonna set that equal to a certain number of pixels and I'm just gonna select 10 pixels this is something that you'll adjust based on the effect you're looking for I'm just showing 10 pixels so you can see how dramatic it is the standard is maybe three to five if you want to use cell padding at all so we go to file I'm gonna select save 